Is it worth buying a hosting plan directly with WordPress.com to host your WordPress website? Well, I'm going to purchase a plan right now and test out what you're going to expect and how the speed performance is going to perform by testing the speed on GT metrics. So this is WordPress.com. Let's go check out their plans and pricing for this. They do have a free plan, but it includes ads and you can install plugins, which is super limited. Okay. So the plans start off from $4 and all the way up to $45, which I think it's pretty expensive. This is paying yearly. And if you pay month to month, it gets pretty expensive. I think no one would buy month to month if you plan to buy the hosting there. But in my case, I'm going to do some testing and I'm going to pay for one month. Now, Something that, that you have to consider here is that it's only for one website. Okay. You can't install multiple websites in these personal premium business plans. So do consider that. Okay. So in this case, I've built a website with AI and I'm about to launch. So I'm going to jump into a paid plan. Now, before I go through this payment process, let me go ahead and show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They also have hosting plans where you can install multiple websites inside of here. So you're not limited to one website. So if you jump over to the link in the description, go to their web hosting, you'll be able to find their hosting plans where they are really affordable. So you can get a plan from starting from $1.95 per month and all the way up to $7 for 45 and all the way up to $7 with 45 cents for better limits. Now, my sweet spot is the most popular one, which is the business plan, because you can install up to 50 websites. So you're not limited to one. You have 50 gigabytes of NVMe storage, five mailboxes, and you get AI implemented into this. So you can use AI to build with Elementor, with Gutenberg, and a lot of things that you can do with AI. And that's included in this plan. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose this plan to show you a coupon code that you can apply to grab a discount that's going to reduce the price even more. Now, the first thing you want to do is select the amount of months that you want to pay. I recommend 48 months. You're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Now, this is the current pricing, but if you click on have a coupon code, type in my code or paste it in and the price is going to drop to $118 with 80 cents and that's for four years paid off. So that's super affordable. Okay, so let me go ahead and jump to this and I'm going to pay a month to show you what you're going to expect when you buy the premium plan here on WordPress.com. So let me go through the payment process. Okay, here we go. I'm still going through the checkout process. I do have to buy a domain since I'm only paying for one month. If you pay yearly, you do get one year free domain. You also get that with Hostinger if you choose them. Okay, finalizing the steps. I've just made the payment and we should see the results. Now, as I mentioned, I built an AI website using WordPress.com and I should be getting the results in a bit. Now, my curiosity here is what type of features I'm going to get inside of the plan. So what am I able to tweak? Do I get a DNS inside of here? Can I point my domain somewhere else to use a DNS on Cloudflare, for example? And those are things that I want to find out. Okay, so here we go. We have now made the payment. We can customize our website. In this case, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I've asked to build a Japanese restaurant style website. It's pretty much basic if you ask me, but this is just for testing purposes. Okay. So first off, what I want to do is jump outside of here so I can see what I'm going to get. Okay, here we go. So we got a WordPress style here. So if you install a WordPress website on any hosting provider, a BPS or shared hosting, you'll get something similar to this. Okay, where you can install plugins, you can install themes, etc. In this case, we got these available. I have to pay for these if I want to jump into the paid version of these. They do have a free one. So let me see if I get something included inside of here for free. So I'm um, Jetpack. That's they have a free version. WooCommerce is also free. I can install WooCommerce. So be aware that you don't have to buy the WooCommerce plan in WordPress.com to use WooCommerce. Maybe you get additional features, maybe speed bumps if you use the WooCommerce plan instead of the normal one. But in this case, everything's just normal here. You got your themes available, which you can select themes. I have the option to install a new theme. Okay, here we go. We can upload. Let me go ahead and check that in plugins too, if we can upload or not. Okay, I can also upload a plugin from here. Okay, so I got my dashboard. I got my stats. Um, nothing fancy. This is what you would get with any WordPress installation as of now. Okay, so I haven't seen anything aside being it better. Okay, so let me go into the main WordPress section so I can manage my site and see what I can accomplish. Okay, so here is my premium plan. Let me go jump into WP Admin. That's where I was. But this WP Admin, that's what we just viewed. 
the visit the site which is the live site here we go that loaded pretty quickly here we go let's go ahead and check out domains and should allow me to connect to a domain so here we go this is my domain and i can go ahead and activate right now i can manage the dns for this which is something that i wanted to find out so i can manage dns but i want to know if i can point it outside that means that if i want to manage it in cloudflare which is what i always do i want to see if that is possible so let's see dns records uh, no i can modify these records but i cannot i can edit but i cannot choose to switch it over okay that's a downside if you ask me what else do we have here we got our primary domain name server okay here we go this is where we can switch it up okay so it is possible to switch to cloudflare or other dns providers that you want to use by changing the name server right here so it is possible you got your dns records we can manage which is what we just previously saw domain forwarding so we can forward this contact information which i'm not going to show you dns ec information domain security SSL should it's pending, but it should be installed directly by WordPress.com. I shouldn't think it's a big issue. It glue records and we're good to go. We can transfer this domain. So in case we don't like it here, okay, transfer to another user, another WordPress site, transfer to another register. Okay, so we're not locked. We can switch the domain to another provider. You could just the hostinger or other hosting providers out there that can host your domain. So you don't have to stick with wordpress.com and that's a big deal because if you don't like what you're going to get here on wordpress we can switch which is cool i mean we can take the domain somewhere else right and you can also detach the domain from the site so if you connect it to this site that we've just created with ai we can later detach it in case we want to use it for another site we created right here inside of wordpress so the next thing i want to do is check the website speed okay so right now i am using the subdomain created by them. Let's go ahead and analyze this website. Okay, it is now done. We got an A grade, performance 93, structure 98, which is pretty good. This loaded in less than 864 milliseconds. So less than 900 milliseconds. So I think that's pretty fast if you ask me. So good results there. Let's see the waterfall. Let's see how much of this is loading. Let's see the waterfall here. So... Eh, not that much loading up here, but do consider that we haven't installed any plugins aside from the ones automatically installed by WordPress.com. But once you start installing more, it might load more here. And I can see that it's not bundling the uh, JS files for by using a cache plugin. Okay, so we're still getting good results. I am happy with these results. Let's go check out Google Page Speed. Here we go. Let's go ahead and kick this off and see what it's going to detect. Okay. Let's give it a few seconds. But while that is loading, let's go ahead and retest this. It might improve a bit, okay? Here we go. We got the results for page speed. So we got an okay performance. 69 is not too good. I get almost 100 on my website and it's not hosted on wordpress.com. So the first call, colorful paint, 2.2 seconds. It can improve image delivery, render blocking request. Now all of this can be improved using a cache plugin to consider that. But right out of the box, we're getting all these messages that we should improve on our website. So do consider that that's for the mobile view. For desktop, it is performing better and we're still getting some warning signs here, okay? So we can improve that, don't worry. With a cache plugin, you can probably improve most of this or with the CDN plugin in case the CDN is not too good on wordpress.com. And for GT metrics, so here's the second run and yes, it did load it faster. So instead of almost, 0.9 seconds it is now 0.7 seconds which is better let's see the waterfall we still have the same waterfall here so in terms of performance i know it's a super light website i mean there's not much going on here but we got good results if you ask me okay so do considering if this is worth paying the premium plan considering you're going to pay the yearly deal because month to month is just too expensive eight bucks for the premium plan where you have the flexibility to install the plugins, the themes, etc., and half hosting. I think it's okay if you're looking for simplicity and not worrying about more features and hosting situations, then this is a good option. Remember, only one WordPress website per plan on the WordPress.com one, okay? So if you ask me, good plan if you're asking for simplicity. Now, if you need more features, 
Don't forget that there's Hostinger, which has an affordable plan. You can grab the four years for $118 and you can install multiple WordPress websites inside of here. So this is a fantastic deal compared to the other one. So do check it out. And that's a wrap for this video.